everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I apologize for what my eye makeup looks like. I'm not going to lie. I slept in this makeup. This is yesterday's makeup. But it is early morning on August 13th, which means the new Jeffree Star by Morphe collab drops today. And you guys, I am so excited about it. Something about that palette and the spray and even the brushes are calling my name. And the first round wasn't. I didn't purchase it, but I'm really, really excited about this one. I'm also thrilled that we finally have a local Morphe store in the Carolinas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to South Park Mall. I'm going to purchase the entire collection, and I'm going to come back here and try, swatch, test everything out, and give you guys my thoughts. So if you want to see what I think of the new Jeffree Star Morphe collab, let's get right into it. Singing this shit to you, baby And I can't wait to get you all over yeah. me I'm gonna spoil you, my baby All night yeah. Come and take this lipstick off my lips Slip that dress off and let it drop to the yeah. floor all right, guys, I am back from the mall. I have washed my makeup off my face, reapplied my face makeup, and here is my Morphe bag. I had so much fun in the store. The girls working, they were so nice, and the store is beautiful. So let me show you guys what I got. Of course, I got the Jeffree Star by Morphe palette. I die for this packaging. It matches everything in my office so perfectly. Then I picked up the Set and Refresh Mist. Oh my goodness. I regret only getting one. I should have gotten a second one, but I haven't smelled it yet, so we'll see. Then I got the brush set, and this is different from the first go round. This is 10 eyeshadow brushes or eye brushes. And that is it from the collection, but I did pick up a Velour liquid lipstick because I have not tried Jeffree's formula, and I did also get a lipstick and a lip liner just that are Morphe brand. So let's break into this eyeshadow palette. All right, y'all, here she is. Oh my goodness. I love the packaging on this. It matches the Unicarton and it's seriously stunning. It's actually got quite a bit of weight to it. I do have the Jawbreaker palette right here. As a point of comparison, this is definitely a little bit more weighted. I'm actually kind of curious to swatch some of the colors in this compared to this to see how they compete. We know Jeffrey is known for his eyeshadow formula, but I don't think he would have let Morphe release a palette that is subpar, so we will see. Let's open her up. Just so you guys know, this palette is $35, but you can use any of the codes that are out there floating on the internet for 10% off online and in store. You guys, this is stunning inside. Oh my gosh. I feel like there are particular shades that are definitely standing out to me, like two up here, Honest Truth, Self Made, Boss Angeles. I'm a little scared of pressed glitters, but Millions looks gorgeous and so does Rolls with it. Y'all, I have so many looks in mind from like natural to wild. I feel like this palette can just do so much and I love that it has a mirror. I feel like you never see that in Morphe palettes. I'm trying to think. The two Morphe palettes I have definitely don't have mirrors, so I love that he added that. Now, on to the shadow brushes. I love that they come in this adorable little packing case because I do keep my brushes in a pouch like this when I'm traveling. These are $42. I've taken them out of the packaging. And you get 10 shadow brushes. I love how they updated them because honestly, the first go round, those kind of like unicorn looking brushes, I didn't love. I mean, no offense, but they did kind of seem a little bit like kids makeup, so these are beautiful. I swear by Morphe brushes anyways, they're a great price. They perform really well, so I love that I can have them in pink. And finally, the Morphe by Jeffree Star Setting Spray. It's got the little strawberry on top that says Starberry. I have heard really good things about this, that he added a few more ingredients that the original Mist doesn't have, and I do love that setting spray, so I am excited to give this one a go and smell it. So what I want to do first is dip into some of these, give them a good old-fashioned swatch, see how they perform, and then we will apply them to the eye. I'm just going to give them a good old swatch on the back of my hand. This first one is Dog Mom. 
Wow, you guys. These are buttery. The last palette I've been playing around with is the bronze palette, and these shimmers are nowhere near this buttery in that palette. The second one is two. And then we have designer label. And last, oh my gosh, you guys, that is drive through. So those are what these shimmers look like. I mean, those look pretty good, guys. All right, now let's swatch some mattes. I'm gonna go in with my other hand and we're going to start with a pink fleet. Looks pretty good, guys. Then Nate, which is like a true green. And then we're going to go in with self-made, stunning bright pink. And then lastly, honest truth, which is a really pretty coral shade. So those shades. I think I'm going to do a look with some of those. All right, y'all. I think for the eye look, I'm just kind of pressing out my shadow brushes. So they're a little fluffier after they've been in the packaging. But I think for my eye look, I am going to do kind of a coral transitioning to a pink or a purple. I'm not totally sure yet. But that Honest Truth shade is calling my name. So I think I'm going to go in with that one first. I love that the names are on the front of the palette too, that makes it so much easier. Now I am going to go in with this hot pink shade, Self Made, and apply that to the middle part of my eye, of my eyelid. <laughs> oh wow. I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. <laughs> She is a pigmented. Next, I am going to take Pink Fleet and blend that into Self Made. Y'all, these shades go so pretty together. And then lastly, I'm going to take this purple mogul shade and put that on the outer corner. I might actually dip into the shade Mai to blend that out. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. I want y'all to see too for how pigmented these shades are. I am really not getting any fallout underneath my eyes, which is awesome because these shades would make me look like I have a black eye. I'm just taking a brush that has no shadow on it and kind of blending these guys together. I'm losing, I'm losing a little bit of the coral in the inner corner, so I might add a little bit of that coral back just to make it pop a little bit more. These colors are blending together really, really well. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape to apply on the lid to cut that crease. All right, y'all, I'm going to take a little packer brush, the JS10, and I think I'm going to go into rolls with it. Oh, that's pretty. Just do a little with my finger. I'm going to go back in with Mogul and Pink Fleet to blend those two together. All right, I'm going to do the other eye off camera. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I went ahead and did my lashes and liner off camera, and thank God I did because I have that freaking thing where it stabs the inner corner of your eye. 
<gasps> okay, but now to do the lower lash line, I think I'm just going to mimic what I did on the top. So have purple to um, that coral color on the inner corner. So let's take, they have two of these little tighter brushes, which is fabulous because I actually don't have any of these. So I'm going to start off with the tightest brush, which is the JS13. And I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go into the shade Mogul in the outer corner. Just get that really tight to my lower lash line. Y'all, I still cannot get over how there is like <laughs> no fallout on my face. Now I'm going to go in with Honest Truth in the inner corner. All right, I am going to take, I think I'm gonna go with Welcome. Let's see how that looks in the inner corner. Might mix in a little bit of designer label with that. Oh yeah, that really amps it up. That combo is really, really pretty. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of mascara onto the lower lash line. All right, y'all, let's bring it in real close for a look at the finished eye look. Y'all, I really like it. I think these colors are so fun and it's just a one of a ton of looks that you can do with the Morphe by Jeffree Star palette. I Cannot wait to try a green look and probably a neutral look for the racetrack this weekend. Let me zoom y'all on out. And we are going to go in with the finishing touch, the Morphe by Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist. This is $18. The normal mist is $16. Jeffree said that he added a few more great ingredients to this. We will see. I know I love this product already. It's really just going to be about the scent and the packaging which is totally worth two extra dollars for me. Oh my gosh, you guys. The smell, whew, floating around. This smell reminds me of something, like something from my childhood. I don't think, I mean, it's starberry, strawberry scented. I don't think it's strawberry. But y'all, I think it does give a dewier look to my face than the regular mist, so we'll have to see how it keeps my makeup on all day, but I mean, a dewy spray, I will take it all the time, and this is substantially less than the Tatcha spray. All right, y'all, final thoughts. I am pleasantly surprised by this palette. I should have known that Jeffree Star wouldn't put his name on something that isn't high quality, but... I've known in the past that their brushes are great, their setting mist is great, but some of the past Morphe palettes I've had have been really hit or miss, so I'm so excited that this is a win. I cannot wait to try out more looks with it. Let me know below if you'd like to see a green look or a neutral look or anything like that, but I would highly recommend picking this up for $35, 10% off on top of that because it is really great that he's giving us his fun color schemes and really a great formula for a fraction of the cost of a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed following along on this tutorial, and if you did, please subscribe below, and I will see you guys in my next video.